I'm Patrick Bailey with IQS.com. Today is July 1st, 2020, and this video is round two of printing miniatures on my Prusa Mini using, 0 .25, using a 0 0.25 nozzle. Okay, what happened before? Uh, here I'm showing you, and I'll put a link to my in my notes and probably on this to my prior video where I wanted to print out miniatures, uh, but I wanted to do it with a smaller nozzle. So I did get the 0 0.25 nozzle, and I show in that video how to, how to swap them out. It's not really a, a hard thing. Uh, but one thing I did that was a little naive of me is I, you know, I do try to keep things simple. I don't want to do 500 configuration settings just to print this out. I'm hoping as time goes on, uh, and we're, 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 we're doing pretty good right now, that the printers will get so good, the slicers will get so good, that people, um, unless you want to, don't really do a lot of tweaking to get really good results. So I tend not to want to tweak. So the only tweak I did on here is I took a normal... Uh, slicer setting that's set for a 0 0.4 nozzle and set it to 0 0.25 um, and and sliced it and ran it and it worked okay and if you see the results of the video um, you really couldn't tell much of a difference I couldn't between using a 0.25 nozzle and a 0.4 but we could tell I could tell a big difference between the layer height so we went to all the way down to a 0 0.05 which is the finest layer heights the Prusa Mini can do and it worked pretty well um, but it was like, well, why use the 0.25 when they both look about the same? And so, but when I did that video and uh, I got some feedback saying my slicer settings were naive and that there were some easy ways to get better uh, slicer settings just by running a few commands, a few things in the tool to get those. So that's what I've done with this. And the results are interesting. So, um, and also thanks for making comments like that. I like to... Um, my day job, I am a programmer, and I do like pair programming where people work together and do, um, yeah, that. where people uh, pair together and work together. I think a lot can be done. Um, and I thank, I thank you guys for the way that you're doing it. Most people, hey, you know, if you notice I'm doing something wrong or you have a better idea, hey, speak up, say something. And this really makes for some, it helps educate me and it helps make some better videos. But with that, just like with pair programming, there's a way you got to do it. And you guys do it well. Uh, but when somebody comes in, I've seen this on other channels, and I've seen a little, tiny little bit of this, when you come in going, oh my God, you're so stupid. Eh, that's not a good way to pair with somebody. You know, talk to someone how you would talk to a friend or someone, or or just a neighbor, someone you might know. Um, and they're more apt to listen to you. And you guys have done a great job with that. So I, uh, but also on the other end, some people are overly nice and they don't want to speak up. They know she did something wrong, but they don't want to embarrass you because you did something not quite right. And that's also kind of harmful. If you see something, it's like, I didn't do that quite right. Gently, <laughs> nicely, uh, say you didn't do that right and try this out. So thanks for that. Um, anyway, there's my tirade on pairing and pair programming, I guess. Uh, but thanks, thanks. So um, anyway, so let's, uh, sheesh, 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 what am I trying to do? So here, here's what you got to do. So in the Prusa Slicer, it's pretty easy. All you got to do and I like easy, go here, go to configuration, go to configuration wizard, and then hit next. And then it will show you the different options here. And so what I did is I got the Prusa Mini and I selected the alternate nozzle 0.25 millimeter. And I have a, a you know, I3 Mark III, so I also chose it there. So choose the nozzles that you wanna add with the printers you have, and then hit next, next. In this case, I just kept hitting next. There's some options in here, but like, I don't, don't need anything special. I just hit heavy next, choosing all the defaults, and then finally hit finish. And after it all got done, what I had is now there's a system preset. So now I had an original Prusa Mini 0.25 nozzle. So that was the one. And there's different tweaks where the smart people have done all the tweaks to make it look pretty good. And um, so, yeah, so there is the simple way to get much better settings. And, but with that, and I'll show this when I show all the live models. When I went this and sliced it, I left it at, I actually left it at 0 0.1 rather than 0 0.05. And as is, it turns out the 0 0.1 actually is doing a better job than the 0 0.05. There's a lot of stringing on the 0 0.05 and we'll show you that. So I'll show you the results, but right now with the way the printer settings are, are um, 0 0.1 with a 0.2 nozzle does a good job. Um, and with that, when I show you these, pairing. If somebody has an idea I don't like to tweak settings, but if there's a simple setting to tweak that can drastically reduce the stringing, I'm all for that. That's simple. Or if someone says, hey, here are these great settings. 
that you can just download and grab for a 0.25 nozzle that reduces the stringing totally for that because printing miniatures is a, you know, hey, have a special setting for printing miniatures that's, that is all set up that you just get here, download this, grab it and do it, you know, or like I said, tweak one setting. So anyway, uh, there you go and you slice it. And uh, anyway, so there we go. Now, going over the numbers before I show you that. So I have printed several out and to print, you know, this little guy at a 50 millimeter height, uh, he takes about 12 hours and 13 minutes to print at a 0 0.05 layer. And it took 8.5 cents worth of electricity and it weighs practically nothing, nothing, 0 0.01 kilograms. And at $20 per kilogram comes out to 20 cents. So total cost to do this is 29 cents. You know, let's just call it a quarter or 30 cents. So very cheap to print these out. Um, but with that, I printed, a, I printed a bunch of these out. I printed a bunch of other examples. Let's go look at the examples now and see what you think. Okay, so here, using the new settings, this is with a 0.25 nozzle with the new settings at a 0 0.05 layer height. And you can see the stringing is pretty bad. Now there are ways to deal with stringing, hit it with a heat gun, which you can see on my other video. Uh, but in this case, I mean, the detail looks really good down here. And there may be some miniatures where it was miniatures that don't have as much uh, possibility of stringing that may work really well with the settings as is. But this one, no bueno. In fact, I did take, I printed another one out and hit it with a heat gun. But there's so much stuff as it retracts, it just goobed the heck out of it. So uh, I wouldn't suggest doing a 0 0.05 layer height with those settings. For, for a model like this, where it's, you get the possibility of a lot of a stringing, because it just does not work out well. Now, the same one with, this, with the settings, 0.25 nozzle, and I have not hit this with a heat gun, but this is a 0.1 layer height, which is going to print just as, print twice as fast. And it looks really good. And it does look better than what I printed in the past. So I can tell a difference, and I have not hit this with a heat gun, but there's, there's so little here that if you hit it with a heat gun real quick, I think it'll clean up real nice. And so I would say the settings overall are better, but at the, at the small layer height, there's just too much stringing. Something went on. But um, so I would say with the new settings printed at 0.1 height, and I think it'll just it'll look great. It looks better than what I did with the 0 0.05 height with the old one. And also I, I just went and printed a bunch of other ones out. So this, these are all 0.1 height, layer height, but the 0.25 nozzle. And they look good. I don't think there's any reason to go down to the 0.05. It's going to take twice as long. But they just look really, really good. And also, I got, let's see, this one, <laughs> the Plague Doctor. And he was done at a 0.1 height. And he looks better. You can tell a lot more detail mm -hmm. than what he had before. I mean, sometimes it can be hard to film and focus as I turn this around, but he looks better than what I did last time at a 0 0.05 layer height. So way to go on the new settings. I'm very, yeah, and simple enough to do. And I got a couple other ones. I put a little, little I love this little dog, clockwork, clockwork hound. Yeah. And he's small, and I printed out a 50 millimeter height version. And of course you get better detail then, but yeah, they just, um, yeah. Tells you how much can get fixed by better settings. But again, like I said, I don't want to tweak settings personally. I love having the possibility of tweaking settings. But since my channel is mostly focused on the new user and the common user, the people who have better things, who don't have the time to dig into the minutia, so much, and and as these slicers get better over time, even to the point where they're going to get artificial intelligence going, uh, that may someday examine what you're printing. You shouldn't have to get into that detail much. I mean, the common person, but most other people. I like the capabilities, but yeah, this is way better. But the 0 0.05 height, just you know, way too stringy. And if anyone knows a setting that can easily reduce my stringing, hey, I'll go, I'll go make a third video. Or a year from now, we'll try it again because maybe they'll have some new settings that'll make this a lot better. Or someone out there will make a miniatures setting 
that will work really good with a 0.25 nozzle. But I cannot complain at a 0.1 height. They're looking pretty good for these small little guys. Look at that. No complaints. Sorry for the long delay between videos, but I have a good excuse. I've been working on my backyard. Last year we bought a house and it came with a dirt backyard. My wife and I are doing the landscaping, so there's a lot of work involved. So there may be a few, mo a few more months where I'm not making quite as many 3D printing videos, but you know, I'll still probably put some here and there. Um, but who knows? Maybe I will figure out some need to 3D print something to help me with the construction. So, you know, there may be some cool videos coming out of that. On an entire other note, I just went to the dentist the other day and they were using face shields and they did not like any of the ones they were using. I also saw how they were using them and it just was not a good fit for their needs. And they even had a 3D printed one, a modified Prusa. So they showed me the three different models they had. Um, because I, I mentioned to them that I'd been designing some, a little bit of 3D printing stuff and also I had done a little bit of modifications on face shields and they were real interested. So I may be working on working with the dentist, uh, my dentist, to help design a better face shield for their needs. And if I do, you know, I'm gonna do some videos on that. So I think that might be a cool opportunity, um, but that may also be a slow roll. It may take me a few months to sit there going back and forth and back and forth because right now they have something and they'd like a better something and getting a better something might take a lot of iterations. But anyway, that's gonna be, that could be a lot of fun.